Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie back with another video. We have a, a, a unboxing slash review today. But first, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos, right? And today we are just gonna do a quick dive into the Align Trimmers from Wall. These are $119 on their website, I think like $119.99. Um, this is the new, new trimmer from them, all right? Of course you get the same packaging from Wall. Nothing different, nothing stands out and as far as like looks. Like when you see it in a you see it in the store, you're gonna walk by and say, Oh, that's a that's a wall product, which is a good thing. You know their package, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're gonna get, right? Let's open this up and see. Three hours of runtime on the charger or on the um the product. But what you get in here, if I open it up, you do get the charger. You do get a charger, charging cable. If you are using the wall, um, like charging dock, right? I don't know if they have a specific one for this, uh, like the insert, but if you have a high trimmer or if you just buy the high insert, if they sell the insert separate, you can get the high uh, and it, it fits right in there, no problem, uh, if you wanna use a charging dock. But you do get the you get the three uh, clipper trimmer guards, cleaning brush, cleaning oil, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? This is the a trimmer, so you don't get their their special comb that comes with all the wall products, right? So that that's pretty much it. You get the product. It's 119, three hours of runtime. You do get the charger, and this is the product. As far as design and look it is slim and they stick to that you know that five star like detailer color it's kind of i won't say old but it's kind of like all right give me give me something you know what i'm saying like i would have liked this if it was like well not all silver because it then people would have definitely said it was a uh slim line pro but maybe a, a all black or black and maroon or you know just kind of swap it up a little bit but this is the machine. This is the charging port here. There is no USB-C or anything like that. It's just that. Uh, so if you got a wall charging cable, you, you'll be good, right? Uh, power button. Not loud at all. This is the blade that they got on there. Very slim blade, very slim blade. Again, uh, three hours, three hours of runtime on this. So you know that's what you get as far as packaging unboxing that's what you get i don't i don't know if you're looking for more from wall i do think they could have included a uh a charging like when you bought the when you bought a high vis it does it did come with a uh charging dock with their you know their new tr newest trimmer but like i said if you want to use this on there that fits as well um but as far as performance, right? Because that's the main thing. It can look like this. It can do this. It can do this. Whatever, right? As far as performance, fresh out the box. Now, and I know in one of my last videos, I was going to be like, I'm going to stop saying fresh out the box. But fresh out the box, right? It didn't give you that hard hitting, like, uh, I'm ready to go, you know, tap and go. But instead of me setting it, because it seemed like it was... I don't know if y'all can see that, but it looked like it was already close. So I just worked it a little bit and let it work. And getting some lines is good. It's great for designs. Like that small blade for designs and stuff, uh, going against the grain, it kind of dragged, right? Going against the grain, to me, in my usage so far, it's not going to be the best bet for uh, putting in a ball line or taking or putting in the ball, you know what I'm saying? Or doing a full ball hit or something like that. It's not going to be the one that once you're going against the grain. Every time I did that, uh, especially on thicker coarse hair, it dragged, it got caught. It didn't really, I always had to switch to, to something else to really get, uh, put my ball line in, you know what I'm saying? But once it start going and, and doing lines and doing designs, this blade is great. The only problem I have with this blade 
just the same as on the last Stylecraft um, trimmer I used. I'm not a fan. This blade is so small. Like, especially, let's think about when you're putting in, oh, oh. I just dropped the trimmer. I'm not even gonna look at it yet. I just dropped my Supreme trimmer. I'm not gonna look at it yet. But think about when you are putting in, putting your time in, and you putting and you doing the front lineups and stuff. This blade is it. I won't say it slows you down, but it slows you down because now instead of you using a regular size blade and taking out more of that space, you got this. You know what I'm saying? And it does get the job done. I was able to get some crispy, nice lines. But that blade is so small that it's, it, it, it almost forces you to say, you know what? I don't have time to use this. I'm going to switch to another trimmer or something. Because it gives you more, more room to play with. You get what I'm saying? But as far as putting lines in, I was able to get some crisp, crisp, nice lines, right? So... I do now I didn't try to see but I don't know if you can or not put a different blade on there by the way that that's built it's probably like this is the blade it goes on uh shout out to 50 blends if you want to make a mod where I can put uh, a babyless blade on or something like that hey hey I'm talking to you but it was a good trimmer uh it was a good trimmer nice blade fits nice in your hand is this something I rush out to buy though no right um it, it got the nice feel it got nice power if you are looking for something from wall though i would buy their high vis this is much better it got the 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 water blade on there it just gives not it's 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 just better to me all around it feels better in hand with the grips it got a nice body it got the uh the 360 you know it not necessarily 360 but when you're putting in lines, this blade is so close to there. It's like you got to come in at a different angle rather than this. It's like it gives you more room to play with. You know what I'm saying? So is this something I rush out and buy? Nah. I do like it though. But I don't see this being one of their, oh, I got to rush out and get that. This is not nothing I, I would say, go get it today. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm going to put some videos in. Of course, the blade hits nicely. It's just, it's small. You know what I mean? If you do like that slim fit, it's good. I, again, this is slim, but it's a little bit thicker, especially for if you got big, oh, I'm spitting everywhere. Especially if you got bigger hands and stuff, you know, you want to feel something a little bit thicker. You want to feel something a little bit thicker. So, um, yeah. But it's not bad. Is it worth the 119? Yeah, it's worth the 119, but I don't, I don't think you should or need to rush out and get this today. That's just my opinion. Don't be mad at me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos. And we will be back with another video very soon. Peace.